Hello everyone, I'm Benny. When it comes to laser engraving, I believe everyone is pursuing a great quality. But sometimes, when you engrave in a high speed, you might get these ghosted edges. It might be because of you didn't apply the parameters from this acrylic cube. The parameters on it is called spinning offset. Every laser machine got different parameters. And we already have measured these parameters for each machine and have it engraved on this cube at the factory. So please make sure you keep this so that you could simply just input these numbers in Lightburn or Artyworks, etc. And then the scanning offset won't bother you. Let's just go to Edit and Device Settings. And here we can see the scanning offset adjust. Let's just simply add the numbers from this acrylic cube. So we got speed and we got line shift. Speed and line shift. Okay, now we input all these parameters into Lightburn and we can choose whether to enable the scanning offset adjustment or not. If you lose this acrylic cube, or you have been using your machine for over than two years, you might need to remeasure these compensation parameters. And today, we will walk you through the whole process. To understand why there are ghosted edges like this, firstly, we need to know there are multiple reasons can cause the output of the laser to shift slightly. For example, when the machine is working, especially in a high speed, there might be some delay. Like um, the gantry has already changed the direction from here to here, while the laser tube fired late than this. So our purpose of measuring the scanning offset and apply it into light burn is to make up for this delay and also let the laser fire at the appropriate time. So let's get started. So I have this design here for this measure test. They're just rectangles, but I will choose um, fill and also I will change the line interval to one millimeter so that we get to observe how the scanning offset parameters affect the result of engraving. And you can see that we got 600, 800, 1000, 1200 as speed for examples. And of course, we give them different power settings. Now let's go to um, device settings again. About the scanning offset parameter, I can't just give you a fixed value to apply in your machine, because like I said, it is individually different for each machine. But according to our experience, these numbers should be close to 0.2 millimeter. So I would suggest you start from applying 0.2 as a reference, and then based on what we get and then do more adjustments. Okay, now let's do test one. Okay, we can see that this is clearly better than when no parameters are applied in, but for some speed, we can have more adjustments. So just think of the first line as a reference. If the second line exceeds the first line, like this, then we subtract the excess part on the basis of 0.2 millimeter, since that's the parameter we just applied. And also, when the second line is shorter than the first line, then we add the missing part on the basis of 0.2 millimeter. Generally, we can adjust the increase or decrease by about 0.02 millimeter. Since the lens difference here is less than one millimeter, it is very difficult to measure, so we will estimate by our eyes and then conduct multiple tests until the result is perfect enough. According to our test here, we would do this. And let's have another round. Okay, so our prediction is quite good. It does look better. If yours is not like this, you just need a few more tests and then adjust your parameters based on your test. And just like this, there will be no scanning offset. 
I hope this is helpful for your laser engraving work. Please like us and follow our channel for more updates. See you next time. Bye.